Hey guys, it's Daisy here, Dr. Taylor. I'm coming to you live from my bedroom because my beautiful daughter is sleeping and I'm sporting my uh, grown out hair. Uh, we're, we're getting longer, slowly but surely. Uh, but anyways, I'm coming to you guys today because I've had so many questions about why I'm at JCPenney's, basically. Um, I've had other stylists ask me, I've had my clients ask me, I've had other salon owners trying to recruit me ask me. I, I just get it all the time and I finally decided I will tell you guys why. So I have worked, let me give you some background. I have been doing hair almost 10 years now and the first few years I did freelancing only. I did not work at a salon, I only freelanced. I did a lot of weddings, I did a lot of events. Um, I basically was my own boss. I didn't, I didn't want to work for anybody and I didn't want to, um, get that, I don't know, just that dissatisfaction from the drag of the daily grind. I, I did not want that. I wanted more excitement. So, um, I freelanced for a while and then after that I decided, you know what, I need to, I need to get an environment where I'm constantly learning and bettering myself and all of that. So that began the salon hopping phase and I, I spent, um, you know, most of them were six months to a year at a couple different salons. Some of them were like only three months because they were, I pretty much got the information I needed and got out. So I pretty much worked at, um, just, oh, I feel like I've worked at every type of salon there is. I've worked at um, you know, your basic commission, I've worked at the booth renting places, I've worked at big salons, small salons, um, boutique salons, um, CD salons, some scary ones in there, you know, and shout out to my site and my, uh, clients that have followed me through all of that, some of them, they've been following me all over and I am just so thankful for that. Um, but you know, I, I was all over the place and I, I wasn't, I was spending those years gaining knowledge. I wasn't trying to, um, build a clientele. I wasn't trying to make a ton of money. I was basically trying to educate myself and, um, not even in the skill side, well, the skill side too, but, um, uh, mostly the business side. I wanted to know how different salons ran, what their procedures were, what their policies were, um, just, just everything. I, I wanted to know how all of these ran because I want to eventually run some kind of something. I mean, maybe not even a salon, but I, w I wanted to know how they were being ran um, and how they were hiring and firing and training and all that, the, all that good stuff. So basically, um, I, when I got pregnant, I realized that I can't work seven days a week. I can't work 24 hours a day. I can't um, I can't be a slave to my clients anymore. It was pretty much time for me to have my own life because before I would do any client at any time, I would come in just for one client. I would work in the morning. I would work at night. I would work, you know, all, all hours of the day and night, any service you wanted, I would provide it. Um, and that, that was great for making money, but um, that also is a way to get burnt out and it's, it's not, it's not going to work for having, having a family. So, um, I, I had been hearing, um, the manager that I have now is from one of the salons that I worked at, um, like maybe like five years ago. And she, for about a year was like, Hey, come check on my salon. I think you'll love it. The team's great. There's a lot of benefits just come check it out. Basically she, she didn't really write me about it, but she was always kind of in my ear like, Hey, you know, if you are looking for something, let me know because she knows, she knows how I am. She knows that I, I was on a journey basically. And, um, I'm sure some of the, the managers I had were mad at me because I basically came in to a bunch of clients and left. Um, but I feel like that's the business. I, I mean, I, I feel like doing hair for 10 years, I'm still in that, that first phase, like that first cocoon, you know, I haven't really, f I, I know pretty much everything, but I haven't gained that finesse yet. I feel like that finesse doesn't come until later, um, you know, until you've been it 20, 30 years, you know, but anyways, um, 
And so she kept on, she kept on, you know, telling me in my ear, Hey, come check it out. Come check it out. Come check it out. So finally I checked it out and I've been there for a year and a half and I honestly don't see me going anywhere else unless I build something of my own. I really, I'm happy there. Um, let me, here, let me, let me see what the benefits are. Hold on. I was going to map it out for you guys. For the stylists, I guess, that are going to watch this. Um, so my salon is a JCPenney salon, but we have merged with InStyle Magazine. So it is called um, the InStyle Salon at JCPenney's or the in, the Salon by InStyle, something along those lines. Basically, I call it the InStyle Salon or JCP Salon. Um, so basically, if you are a designer there, let me try to pull up the, oh, I found it. Okay, so this is the way that they do their pay structure, and this is, I think this is, this is newly updated, and I, sometimes it varies very slightly, but, um, like over time, but this is basically what we're at now. So we have three levels of designer, it's design, designer, senior, and master, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much basic anywhere you go. Um, the designers are anyone so there, there's two there's two variables that determine if you're what level you are basically and the way it works is that it's on a six month um, evaluation so every six months potentially you could move up every six months if you came in as a designer um, you could be a master within a year and a half it really just depends um, on your weekly sales or your hourly um, productivity basically so say Okay, so basically, so the designers are at 500 a week, the seniors are at 750 a week, and the masters are are at above 750 a week. So, um, and that's that. Okay, so it's either or. So it's either the weekly sales or the average productivity. So the productivity by the hours goes $20 for designer, $30 for senior, and above 30 for masters. So. I mean, for someone that does, like, our, I think our base haircuts start at 32, um, if you're doing at least a haircut, one haircut every hour for six months, you're good, you know, and hair color. I mean, most people, it takes them an hour and a half to do a solid color and a haircut. I mean, you're looking at easily moving up to senior within six months, easily. Um, and if you're doing those add-ons and stuff like that, then you'll move up to master very quickly. Um, I think you might be able to move from a designer to a master in one, in one, six months. If you, if you meet those goals, I'm pretty sure you can. So potentially you can move up to master in six months. Um, and basically the commission, the designers get 55, the seniors get, oh, see, that's where it changed. See, it's not, that's not what it is anymore. They do have actually even better commission. Let me see if I can find where I put it. Do, 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 do. Don't you love that song? Dang it. I don't know where I put it. Okay, so the old one, I guess I'll just give you the old one. It, it's pretty it's pretty close to this if it, it maybe this one is the still the right one but I thought it was slightly sliding uh, slightly on a sliding scale but this one is just a solid scale so designers get 50% seniors are at 55 masters are at 60% but the the cool part is the kind of the uh, icing on the cake if you will is if you make more than 50,000 Okay, which I mean, if you've been in one place for a couple years, that's that's really not that hard. Um, so if you, which actually some people they do it in one year, so yeah, it's not that difficult. So um, if you do fifty, you get sixty one percent. If you do seventy five, it's sixty three percent. If you do a hundred, it's sixty five percent. And if you do over a hundred and fifty thousand, it's seventy percent commission. Now, I know, I know a lot of stylists and I've worked in a lot of places and I've never worked anywhere that was above 55% at all. Like, 
no matter you could be making five hundred thousand a year and they'll still keep you at that at that um fifty five percent. And then I have some friends that they are making 35% and I'm like, what are you doing? I, I was upset when I was making 50%, you know, um, I feel like even with the product costs and stuff like that, I, for me to, to do a thousand dollars in sales and I'm only getting 500 bucks of it and then taxes come out. So really it's like 450 or $400, um, like, okay, I was at a thousand bucks and now I've got 400 bucks, like how's that right? You know? But, um, yeah, I, I, I love it. The, the commission itself is, is like the starting point, right? Cause that's the, that's the money. Okay. So say you are a new stylist or say you have a slow week, um, with JC Penney's, the way they do it is you are a employee of JC Penney's. So you do make minimum wage basically. The baby's waking up. So, um, oh, back to sleep. so if you work, every hour you work, you get $10. So say you're fresh out of school and you, you are only doing walk-ins and there's only four walk-ins or two walk-ins or zero walk-ins on the day that you're working. You still make money. You're not just, you know, if no one comes in, you don't make any money. You're still at least making that, that minimum wage. So worst case scenario, you're making minimum wage plus tips. You know, that's if you move to a new city and you don't have clientele or you move across town and you don't have clientele, you're fresh out of school and you don't have clientele or you went on maternity leave and all your clients left you and you, you don't have a clientele, whatever, whatever the case, worst case scenario is your hourly pay plus tips. So that's, that's a start. That's better than some places that if, you don't make commission, you don't get anything, or if you're booth renting and you don't have any clients, you still have that bill of your booth rent. But, um, yeah, so that's the pay part of it. Now on the education part, the education part, um, they do, they normally do monthly classes. Sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes it's less than that. It kind of just depends, um, the season. Cause like December, who's, who really wants to take a class in December? Like we, we don't have time for that. But, um, and January is the end of the fiscal year, so they don't really do classes in Jan January. But the rest of the year, it's pretty much jam-packed with, with classes, and the nice thing is you get paid for them. So when I first started with pennies, it was my, um, my base pay, my $10 or whatever, $10.50, whatever the base pay is, um, for your classes plus travel. But now that I have been there for a year and they kind of know how much I bring in per hour, now I make more money when I go to those classes. And I think some, I think someone, it was like they were getting like $25 an hour for going to those classes. I think I'm at like 15 or 16 um, per hour plus travel and everything like that. Um, but some of them are more if you, if you're making more um, it does go up. They do reevaluate you, which is nice. Um, so you're getting compensated because they want their stylists in those classes because they want them providing the trends and providing, um, the most optimal service basically. So that's, that's great. You know, um, classes. Okay. What's next? Let's see products. So products, the, this is one thing that I love and I kind of hate because I am used to being spoiled and used to being able to use whatever I want to use and experiment with whatever I want to experiment in the salon. But we are contracted with Matrix, um, let's see, we're con and, and all of our hair products basically. So all of our color comes from Matrix. Um, we use the Color Insider. Uh, so color, color sync. We do have a little bit of Illumina, um, a little bit of the Redken for men line. Um, we use Pravana and some of the other matrix, like little things like their watercolors and, you know, um, their vinyls and stuff like that. So that's, ugh, that's one thing that I'm kind of just, I don't know. Like if I ever really need something, my salon manager kind of breaks the rules and gets me something if I really need it, like 
I personally love the Guy Tang silvers and if I have a client that really wants the silver and I I ask her for it she gets it for me you know I I'm pretty sure that's against the rules but to me I'm I'm trying to give my client the most the most satisfaction basically um, and buying a different tube of color so that I can ensure that their color is the way it's supposed to be and does not fade out after two washes. She she bends the rules a little bit for me because it is still it's still purchased at our at our regular. Um, oh, I think I lost you. Hold on. Well, my thing lost. <laughs> There we are. Okay. I think I just mooned all you guys, but that's all right. So anyways, um, yeah. And then we, we have a pretty wide variety of products, um, that we carry on the shelf for like back bar as, um, as in like shampoos, conditioners, um, hairsprays, all that kind of stuff, all your styling stuff. Um, I mean, sometimes something new will come out and I'll be like, oh man, I wish we carried that. Or I'll have clients come in and say, oh no, I only use this and we don't have it, you know? Um, so that's, that's kind of, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a downfall. Um, but I can ensure that I know exactly what we have and how it's going to perform and that we're not just going to stop carrying it one day. Um, randomly without notice um, and we get really good deals I mean they like right now it's buy to get one for a penny I don't really know anywhere that does well no I guess some places do that but it's always on sale basically we always have some kind of sale going some kind of promo going um, it's just a really it's a really good value and you can use your coupons and stuff so I don't know my clients like it but um, let's see what else the team, the team's amazing. I mean, I'm sure there's pin, I'm sure there's some JC Penney's out there that are really struggling. Um, I'm on the JC Penney salon page, so I, I there's little, there's five thousand stylists on that page, um, and it's it's a secret, you know, group just for us. Um, I I've seen like little tiffs here and there, and you know, I'm we're all human. You know, we all get in funks. We all have. Um, managers that aren't the best managers sometimes or receptionists that aren't the best receptionists or that one stylist that keeps eating your food out of the fridge or whatever. I mean, there's, there's some crazy, crazy situations in the salon. I mean, you are a very close family when you're in the salon, but personally, my salon is the best salon. You know, it is. Um, everyone gets along. There is a random tiff, like, I don't know, once every six months or something, but it's never, it's never anything crazy. It's always, um, there's a cat, but it's always, um, really cordial. You know, even if someone doesn't like someone, it, they're not going to be mean to them and they don't like, you know, sabotage them. Like some salons that I've been at where stylists literally will sabotage you. It's, it's crazy. Um, but everyone's nice. It's, it's just, a, it's a great environment. It's a positive environment. You know, it's not negative. I just, I've been in those salons that are negative and I just couldn't do it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, we get food randomly. They, JC Penney's, I don't, I don't know, you, I don't know if you've worked there or not, but, um, like holiday season, they always have buffets for us. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I've never, I've never worked at a salon that, gives you so much like we have a um this is kind of weird but we have a fun calendar and every month um throughout the week there's like you know it's pancake day or it's donut day or it's hug a friend day or it's um oh, what are some of the other weird ones there are some weird ones this year it, there was really some weird ones um make a snowflake day or you know stuff like that um and it's, it's cool. It just makes it a little interesting. It makes it exciting to come to work. You know, they do it where, oh, let's wear our jerseys today or let's wear whatever. Oh, by the way, um, the, at my salon, the dress code is, I, I like to wear all black. It's technically black or white, but 
I don't, I'm not about to be messing up my white shirts with hair color, so I just wear all black and then I just color it black more if I need to, if I get bleach on it. You know, if you've ever used the, uh, the fabric dye and just cook it on the stove. But, um, anyways, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it there. I feel like my clients are treated very well there. Um, when I went on maternity leave, I got, I was there, I guess when I went on leave, I was there for like, oh, I don't know. I had been there for like eight months. Like I, I wasn't there for that long before I went on leave and I received two months of paid maternity leave. Um, plus plus like my vacation pay, plus all these other, you know, all this other pay that I got. So I really, I didn't really miss any money when I left. Um, it was a little, I mean, I didn't have my tips and like, it wasn't as high as my commission would have been, but I, I wasn't, I never missed a paycheck. Basically. That's what I'm saying. I always had money when I was on maternity leave. Um, you know, my clients, when I was gone, they were very well taken care of, very well informed about when I would be coming back and all of that. Um, it was really good. They threw me a big party. One more thing to this hour long, hour long rant. The marketing. JCPenney markets for free. They market you for free. Like today, I, we have these boxes and boxes of Christmas cards with coupons in them and we get our free little business cards. So what I did was I wrote a nice Merry Christmas letter, signed it at the bottom, put, a, put my own little 15 person coupon for my clients because I love them and they deserve 15% off their next service. So I went back to the Xerox machine and made about 200 copies of my handwritten letter and I folded them up. I, I only folded about a hundred. I didn't get to all 200 today. I still have a stack, but I folded about a hundred of them and put my card in there, put the Christmas card in there, licked it and sealed it up. And every single one of my clients has been getting a card with all this stuff and it didn't cost me anything. I spent maybe like two or three hours. It was a long time. I just, I've been doing it for a few days, but today I did a, a ton of them, but, um, yeah. So it's free marketing. Like, you know how much marketing materials that is? Like I don't have a copy machine. So if I went to go make 200 copies, how much normally it's like 10 cents a copy, right? Or something like that. So and that's easy. 20 bucks plus tax, you know, plus the Christmas cards, Christmas cards have got to be like 50 cents or so if you buy them cheap, you know, I mean, a lot of them are like three or four dollars, but, um, and then box of, box of cards, some cards, I think the last time I bought personal cards, it was like 25 bucks, maybe something like that. But anyways, JCPenney's paying for it. And honestly, I can say all my clients loved it. And they also got free gifts this month because JCPenney's gave out a bunch of free gifts this month. So it's nice. It's just got a lot of perks. Um, if you've been looking for a new salon, check out JCPenney's. I mean, maybe there's one in your area. Maybe there's not. Maybe the team isn't the best. Maybe it is. But, um, as a business perspective, it's honestly, there's no question. JCPenney's has really figured out, um, the perfect formula on how to retain quality stylist and how to retain clients. Like they just, they've got it in the bag. Like there's a reason why they've been along, been around for so long. Like they've, I'm pretty sure they've been around a lot longer than Ulta or beauty brands, maybe even both of them combined. Like they've been around the block. They know what works, what doesn't work. There's a reason why they do the things that they do, even though sometimes we don't understand, like, why can't I just carry Olaplex? But that's all right. It's okay. I, I'll get over that. You know, um, I just love it there. So yeah, that's my rant. Thanks for listening. Have a great holiday. Bye guys.